All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, we are back. It's, this is actually, it's not the morning, it's noon. Um, I'll probably be getting, uh, I'll make sure that um, uh, we're, we're going through it and everything like that. Uh, luckily, Discord is not recorded. So uh, my friends are not going to be heard like last time. Um... I do have to pause a little bit because I my food is about to be here soon. Probably should have recorded this right after my food got here, but um, it is fine. I shouldn't say got here. My food is done cooking, uh, which will be done in like five minutes. I'll put a timer for three minutes so I can go check that out. Um, so some of the stuff I did between stuff. So last episode, no, oh, last session. I said that I wanted to um, do a lot of the the outside stuff. So a lot of the, excuse me, a lot of basically clear out the area and such. And that's essentially what I did. Actually, right after the session, I just grinded that out. So you can see Westminster is, is uh, everything, the strand is completely uh, done. And now we just have the main story, which is fine. Which is actually very good for our progress. We can kind of keep going with the story and so on. So I actually don't know if this is going to be the last session of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. If this is, that would be actually quite beneficial. Then I could focus on Horizon and actually all the other games that are actually currently happening. If it's not, um, we'll just continue on forward, right? Uh... So, one thing with this channel, especially, because shorts is the way to kind of do it, right? The thing is, I want to upload all my uh, YouTube shorts onto my other, my main channel. I call it my main channel, but by, uh, once it becomes my main channel, I'll call it my main channel once, um, uh, it starts getting more subscribers and views than this channel. <laughs> it won't. <laughs> um, but the thing is... Uh, I want to be able to upload mo majority of my sh uh, both shorts to both channels just because a little bit of playthrough, a little bit of stuff, so just a little outreach for both. Um, not every single clip, but anything that I've been burning playthroughs, which is a lot of my gameplay. Let's just this guy. And you're done. So we are, um, so the things I've done in between is not only I cleared the area, I did level up Evie and Jacob. So they only have about four things each. Uh, so we're basically near the ending of the game of uh, just stuff that we need to really do. Uh, it is probably encouraged to do more of the other side quests, which I won't be doing. Um, I am really, Picking up the pace when it comes to uh, doing this. I'm really picking, bringing up the pace with uh, everything that's kind of happening. Um, What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. Switched I've up. got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one passed unless I authorize them. <laughs> Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law. SSA Lord Cardigan, unique kill opportunity. Alright, we'll figure out what we can do here. Don't kill any police, do not get detected by the target. I will not. Uh, we'll. Might be best to kind of. Just kind of go in and see what we can do. Because if this is an entry point, I might just take it.
Thing is, open pardon me, gentlemen. Sergeant Freddie Aberline of Scotland Yard. Where might this scandalous activity be taking place? Yes, yes, it's up. Just this way. Follow me, Sergeant, but discreetly if you would. One doesn't see be very discreet. Sorry. Usually I would be in disguise, but my clothes all fell into the Thames. Hey. Wake up. Discreetly, yeah. So I just follow you. I was hoping, like, oh, oh just by following him, they would be. This is a very ancient old lady, modeled after my mother. You'd be surprised how convincing I am. This is not discreet at all. A tough old bird she was. Actually had a facial hair problem. We'd sell the hair for dolls. Hey, keep it moving. <laughs> keep it moving. Game glitches like this. Watch for the rook boy. Good. It's weird that I had to do a little shove to make a move. But, uh... Ah. 
Last and damn it all! Oh. Begging your pardon, my lord. It's time for your meeting with Lenin. But we found him, right? Eh? Ah. Yes. But we yes. don't know the password. know the password. I just have to say fuck it. That wasn't really assassinated, that more was just a beating. That was kind of messed up. Coward! Villain! Alas, that the hero of Balaclava should fall not on the glory fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia. Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars. Gave no information. What a prick. Nothing, just praising himself. Alright. Let's get out of here. Here and let me get my food. Let's get out of here. That's that. That's it. My allergies are fucking killing me right now. But I have no idea what happened to that cutscene.
Now, I look, now I have to like watch the cutscene just to. Uh, wow, I, I can barely do. What? Oh, there it is. You okay? Apart from the death squad on our tail. Apart from that. Backups on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend, put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So, I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! Blimey, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. They Should I know who that is? Also, Berg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. You got it. A letter. For me? Let waiting for this look. Sequence eight. Joy is free to search for Crawford. He's being just and when his actions attract the attention of London's biggest criminal mess friend, Maxwell Rock. A dinner invitation. And with whom are you dining this evening? Maxwell Roth. The leader of the Blighters? You're not going. Of course not. Sick. We're heading here. I am back. Uh, for you, it was... Just a second. For me... About a couple minutes. My food is still right here. Um, I had to reset my brain a little bit, but we're. So, luckily the game wasn't glitched. We're just going to continue on forward. to just keep on going, keep on going. I was wondering why that we had a blighter territory going on.
strange bedfellows. Hmm. Better check the back. Yeah. Right. I'm here to see Mr. Roth. Weapons? No, thank you. I've got my own. You should be on the stage, sir. This way. This seems like a really bad idea, Jacob. Ah, our honored guest has arrived. Come, sit. I've had my eye on you for some time. I find your heroics in battling the great Crawford Steric quite magnificent. I've been picking off your soldiers one by one. Doesn't that make you angry? On the contrary. Surprise is a spice of life. Now, Mr. Starrick, that's a different story. I'm drowning in directives, all terribly pouring. Let's say we work together and bring him down. <sighs> I'm not so sure about that. My friend, if I fail to provide you with the chance to cause Starrick some pain, well, you can charge into this theater and kill me yourself. What do you get out of all this? The chance to have a little fun with the bravest man in London. <laughs> you have a deal. <laughs> Lewis, my carriage. Shall we? What kind of deal was this? This was stupid as fuck. A rival gang leader tells you, yeah, let's let's team up. And you go, yeah. This way. Why am I driving? Well, you don't expect me to go alone, do you? Take the reins. Driver, to the papers. I should spare the horses. I thought you and Staric would be fighting for the same ends. What happened? Ah, oh, you know, you required my services to train his gangs, but the man is dreadful. You don't say. Freedom, Jake. Stealing that is far more than a sin. It denies us our humanity. Right you are. And St. Pancras will ease our suffering? The station contains a large shipment of explosives to be dispatched to Starrick and Co. There's a train parked inside St. Pancras. Then I'm to do away with Starrick's merchandise, leaving chaos in my wake. Why not, Jacob? Why not? As we speak, the up train is headed towards us. That may help you enter the station unseen. As long as it remains on the tracks. I'd say good luck, but you don't need it. I shall make